certain that the only thing down here was death. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> this founder, ma'am, this is pretty big. So just take a minute, enjoy the sights, breathe it in. Yeah. Getting back up to Sky City might be a little exhausting. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Sign. Your city's probably in big trouble right now. I can't believe it would be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Isa. Okay, getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? We need to start gathering dirt as much as we can. Uh, how will that help? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I I think so. I uh I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up, try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there, trying to save me, I mean.
city is under attack by monsters now. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Think you could hook me up with a potion of leaping? Here! Just you and me now. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone.
Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Oh, man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says invitation. And then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's. Toss it here! <laughs> Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I don't see why they wouldn't be. The invitation and everything seems pretty legit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first.
that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! Okay, you won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. <sighs> Stick with me, guys. guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan! And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Some kitchen. Oh, dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours. It's rude! We got one of these invitations, too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. 
Oh, that's a good one. You, you are very funny, I, uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some sick snackage, and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Tork Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Man, are all these other people as awesome as you guys? Well, it is a group of well-respected adventurers, treasure hunters, master builders. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, uh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. Good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from, like, out of town or something? Now! Did you hear that? Something got my butt! Who got my butt? Everyone die for cover! Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a, a girl's name. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone! Poof! Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo! You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah! Who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. You ever seen them used like this before? In a trap like this? No way. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Oh, really? Because I've never seen you in my life. I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect.
must have been when we showed up. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone.